When it comes to lost media and content which is considered unsettling or creepy, it seems as though the two often cross paths, whether that's intentional or not. People often jump to their own conclusions on why certain movies or TV shows go missing that leads us to believe it's not supposed to be seen for one reason or another. Even in the case of children's content, there is usually some kind of mysterious aura surrounding the disappearance of pitch pilots and weird episodes that seem to go off brand. But then there are the cases of actual unsettling or creepy lost media. And I'm not even talking about the iceberg levels of creepy, I mean stuff that kind of takes on a life of its own. Today's topic is a perfect example of that, and once having read it several months ago, it pulled me into the point of wanting to discover what it was, and how much of a coincidence something so mysterious just so happened to become lost in the first place. Our story begins on the Lost Media Wiki forums, in a thread created by that gaming asshole. I've actually covered another one of his Lost Media mysteries before, so I knew this would be a great read. It was posted earlier this year, on May 22nd, 2021, and had no replies, so it seemed to fly under the radar, but reads as follows. This is something that has stuck with me for years. If I'm right, this was either slightly before 2000 or literally at that era. I have a feeling 1998 to 2000 is the basic time frame. I'm pulling my memories back now, but one I distinctly recall on VH1 was a special about mysteries and bizarre occurrences in the music industry. Things like the Tupac Biggie conspiracies and such. The whole thing was shot in weird filters and had this woman wearing a trench coat and walking in a graveyard and like a forest, and she would disappear or something with bad special effects. They discussed things like I believe a rumor that Kurt Cobain was somehow at a concert after he killed himself, and I believe mention was made of a band whose identities were never known, who performed at some big venue, then disappeared. The band equivalent of Ready and Steady, basically. Hell, maybe that was on the list. I think they went into various strange deaths or suicides too. I know this sounds like the crackmaster of VH1, but I would bet my life on it being real. If not VH1, MTV then. One or the other. But I have a feeling it was the former for some reason. It was basically a whole special about unsolved murders and bizarre ghostly concerts. Wish I could find it now. I distinctly recall the person walking around in black and white or grayscale out in a graveyard. And not vaguely, like that memory is very clear. I'm almost sure it's not VH1 Confidential, but wow is that close, and I've had others on tip of my tongue confirm that they saw it too, so I'm certain now it does exist, and I didn't just dream it up. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this was on VH1, but if this even remotely seems like a UPN special from like 1998 or something, let me know. Please, this has been nagging at me for years. There is quite a bit to dissect with this post, but the first details that caught my attention were simply the topics this special allegedly covered. Kurt Cobain at a concert after his death, and unknown bands who played at big venues? The disappearance of this special is ominous enough, but the fact that it covered so many fascinating stories makes me want to find it even more. Though admittedly, I had never heard about this special before, and had never even heard of some of these urban legends before, which led me to the first piece of my search. If these urban legends were somehow exclusive to this special, or if they just weren't widely talked about, it means I should be able to google them, and maybe get a name drop of the special they're discussed in. The Kurt Cobain one really fascinated me, so I started with that, but didn't really find any mention of that specific urban legend. I continued on with lists of bands whose identities were never known, but that didn't really pull up any search results either. And as I continued on with some of the more bigger name theories, there was too much unrelated and recent content that plugged up the search results. This wouldn't be a viable trail to follow, so I moved on to another detail from the thread, which described the atmosphere of what the special was like. That gaming asshole claimed the special was shot entirely with weird filters, and was hosted by a woman in a graveyard with a trench coat. He claims to vividly remember this detail, and it's such an oddly specific memory, I started to wonder if I could somehow use it to search LinkedIn for hosts of VH1 or MTV music specials, that possibly mentioned this by name in a resume, as it seems like the kind of thing that would have been added if the host didn't have a very big portfolio. And I assume that she would have been remembered by name if it was someone famous or well recognized. Unfortunately, with the search terms and dates I was attempting to use, I didn't get very far with pulling up anything closely related to the description of the special, and coincidentally, 
only got results from another show that was mentioned in the thread, VH1 Confidential. While it was stated this show and the special were completely unrelated, I took a look at it just in case, and can confirm the style isn't what was being remembered with the graveyard setting and all that. Though I did notice that VH1 Confidential premiered in the year 2000, and theorized that this mystery special would have been made before that, since the two were so similar in concept. I can't imagine the special having been made after an entire series about mostly the exact same thing. I still felt like I was at a dead end and didn't really have any concrete information about the special, so I went back to the original thread and scrolled down a bit to some extra information that had been added a day later. While you might be doubting the existence of this special from how it seems to be undocumented everywhere, this additional post states the following. Some other information, at least three other people, on the Lost Film subreddit three years ago, and yes, I've been looking for that long, have confirmed to me they have seen this special slash TV show too. One person's account was deleted, but he did indeed see it. Another person gave the most confirmation, quoting, I remember this show, and it was great. They also had a segment on Jim Morrison faking his death, one on the guy from Leonard Skinner being buried in a Neil Young t-shirt, and one about someone being murdered during HR recording of Love Roller Coaster. Lastly, a third person confirmed that he also saw it. This leads me to believe this wasn't just some false memory or a dream, this was a show that existed at some point, even if all records have been lost for some reason. At least twice that I can recall, maybe three times in my searches, someone mentioned a show called MTV's Big Urban Myths Show, however, that also seems almost completely lost. I have so far only seen a bit of that, and it seems to have a very, very different tone and less supernaturally feel. Just some extra info. Just to double check, I looked into MTV's Big Urban Myths show, and that one premiered even later than VH1 Confidential, so I had my doubts this was anything related. Unfortunately, this became a problem in itself, because even though VH1 and MTV are both owned by the same company, it's not known which of the two networks this special could have aired on. There's just not enough information about it to come to a conclusion, and I'm starting to question where we're even supposed to be looking. I did a classic Wayback Machine search through VH1 and MTV schedule archives from the late 90s to early 2000s, but didn't find anything of note. I took priority to look around the fall months in case this was some kind of Halloween special, but that's just speculation, so I could have been looking in the wrong place. However, when all fails, there's always one tactic I can rely on contacting programming directors for the channels who were involved during the time frame. In the past when I've looked for programming directors, it usually takes quite a bit of digging to find someone that seems likely to have information, but this time I did it on my first shot. I found contact info for one guy who was the manager, director, and VP of programming for both VH1 and MTV, in the exact time frame that gaming asshole had mentioned in his post. If anyone out there would be able to recall the special based on the details provided, it would be him. I sent him a message a couple weeks ago, and unfortunately he hasn't responded yet. But I think he's the only guy that'll be able to help us uncover this mystery. However, if any of you guys have information about this or remember it from back in the day, make sure to reach out. There could also be some forum posts from the early 2000s that got buried over the years online that I missed, possibly containing information. I'd really like to check out this special to see what it was and why it became so incredibly lost. But even though it might be a while until then, it definitely makes for a good October mystery. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out some of my other game-related Lost Media videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, Finn.